Mary and Joseph were compelled to return to Bethlehem to be counted in a Roman census. It wasn't the best timing. They were forced to make the week-long walk from Nazareth to Bethlehem right when Mary was near the end of her pregnancy. Time to load up and drive to present-day Bethlehem myself, where my first stop will be the Church of the Nativity. This is the oldest standing church in continual use in the Holy Land. It's 1,449 years old. It's amazing to me. This is the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. And as old as it is, it's the second such Christian church built on this same site. The first building, built by Roman Emperor Constantine and his mother Helena in the fourth century, was burned and destroyed when the Samaritans rose up against the Byzantine Empire in the mid-500s. But shortly thereafter, Roman Emperor Justinian began rebuilding this, the current structure, in 556 AD. Modified over the years, it is said to have retained the architectural tone of the original church building as built by Constantine himself. But look, a piece of the old church survived. You can still see this large remnants of the floor from Constantine's original construction. This dates back to 339 AD, which makes it 1,675 years young, as granddad would say. Now this surviving piece of the original floor was rediscovered in 1934 while they were doing some repair work. Its craftsmanship is amazing. According to very early tradition, Mary gave birth to Jesus in a cave just beneath this altar. Now this cave, or grotto as it's known here in the church, is marked by a 14-point silver star. Now, as the genealogy of Jesus is described in the Gospel of Matthew, the 14 points of this star represent the 14 generations from Abraham to David, 14 from David to the Babylonian exile of the Jewish people, and 14 from the exile to the birth of Jesus. Now, the tradition that Jesus was born here dates back to the first century, having been a pilgrimage site for many early Christians. In fact, Christian apologist Justin Martyr, who lived from 100 to 165 AD, along with other church fathers, identifies this as the site for Jesus' birth. 